This video shows how to create the nose, the tip section of the nose cone, forwardmost section. It's very similar to creating the rest of the fuselage in that we're going to trace the drawing from the side view and the top view and project those, get an intersection to our midline contour. Same, same steps. We're going to build the whole side view as one spline here. Again, with splines, the fewer the points you can get by with, the better. Here I'm throwing in way too many to start, um, and I'll delete them as I go, as I find them necessary. or as I find them unnecessary, rather. Make our endpoints coincident to the existing skin, which we projected or intersected into this plane, adding tangencies. Same thing on the bottom side. Building this all as one spline helps to, or is one way to make sure that you have continuity going from top to bottom, that everything's tangent to each other. You have a smoothly changing slope everywhere that you should. And if it needs to be split between top and bottom, you can always cut it later. Up arrow key, remember, is the way you get that pop-up menu. You go through and decrease the number of points a little bit here. And we're going to add a line, vertical line, to which I want the front to be tangent. So we'll kind of line that up with the drawing. And we'll fix the line. And in a second, we'll create a horizontal line to create a, a crosshairs of sorts where we want the front point to be. And we can fix the lines to lock it in place so that when we mess with the spline, it, doesn't, it isn't affected. So here's the horizontal line. Make it coincident to the previous line and coincident to this one. And we'll kind of line those up on the, according to the drawing, what should be the frontmost point. And we'll fix those in place. This plan looks fairly good. So we'll make it make sure it's not a construction object before you exit the sketch. And uh, like we're gonna break this into two different sketches actually. We're breaking it into two parts. but it can be in the same sketch. Now the top view, same procedure. This one's obviously symmetrical, the other one wasn't. We want it to go through the same front point that we created before.
Now I'm going to show two ways to fill in the actual skin once I get there. Um, but first we need to create the midline contour by the same methods that we used before. Add a spline and a couple of vertical lines where you can strain the midpoints of the lines of the spline. Add enough lines such that when you move them back and forth, the spline doesn't move. And this really only takes that, that one, and then also the back one. Very simple curve. And we'll extrude that, which we will intersect with our top down view sketches. Then you can direction default or in the Z component. Intersect. There's our line. And now here's the first way to go about this. We need to split that one sketch to get this by itself. And you can fill this in and add tangency supports. And you could also, as we did with the windscreen, you can extrude one of the guides in the Y component and then make it tangent to that, as well as the other one in the Z component and make it tangent to that. And you would continue going around. Um, I'll finish that up later, but I'll show the other method right now. We're going to add a plane uh, just a little bit before the absolute tip. We're going to create a cross section there. Again, an ellipse. Same procedure as all the other times. And now I'm looking for the sketch from the nose section there. And we can create a multi-section surface between that and this. Add tangents to that original or the existing nose part. And guides as necessary. And that looks really quite good as it is. So we'll leave it. And now you can fill in using a fill this last section. So you press the, the cross section and then you click on the supporting surface and that rounds it out for you. Now going back to this method, like I said, you can extrude these surfaces. They'll have to be... Uh, okay, I extrude these in the Y component, and then the other guide you can do in the Z component. The other direction. And we'll fill in this entire section adding the supports 
on each of the three sides. Now you don't have to make that extrusion because you could use the existing support or the existing panel to make it tangent. But this way is fine too. And it should be symmetrical. So we only have to do one half. And just cleaning up the model a bit here. We have almost the entire left side done. Not the tail. So there's our half model.